When is the last time you jumped? That's the question I want you to ask yourself. If the answer is easy for you, then great. Maybe it was last weekend on the dance floor. Maybe it was at your weekly volleyball game. I don't know, but good for you. Maybe it's very hard to answer this question because you jump so often that you don't even remember the last time because it's just part of your day-to-day activities. Good for you. But maybe it's a bit hard to answer because you don't really know when the last time you jumped is. Now, if you're not able to jump for any reason, like a disability or anything like that, just replace what I'm talking about with anything that you used to do when you were a kid, which you don't really do anymore. Maybe it is run somewhere just for the sake of it. Maybe it's you tell someone you love them, not because they did something for you, but because you just do. Or maybe it's just that you went outside, not because you had something to do outside, but because you just wanted to be outside because you were bored. Just for the rest of this video, replace when I say jump with whatever thing applies to you. Next, I want you to think about the oldest person you can imagine. They don't really do many of these things anymore, and uh, it sucks. It, it does suck for them. And unfortunately, if you live a long life, this is going to happen to you too. It happens to us all eventually. One day, you're barely going to be able to move around by yourself at all. And there was one moment in their life when they jumped their last jump. And wouldn't it be really sad if they jumped their last jump in their 20s, or their 30s, or 40s, or even 50s? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be quite upsetting? So if you can't remember the last time you jumped, if it's been a while, Consider this a wake-up call. Do everything in your power to keep jumping for as long as you can. Life will get in the way though. You're gonna have injuries, you're gonna have sickness, you're gonna have commitments that make it so you're not gonna be able to jump every day or every month or maybe even every year. I broke my ankle a few years back and it took me out of the game for quite a while. But don't let that be the permanent end. You gotta bounce back. You can recover. If you ask any older person, when's the last time you played sport or whatever, they'll probably say, I was doing this and then I got this injury and I never got back to it. And then that injury that lasted a few months turned into them not doing anything for a few years and then eventually a lifetime. So what I'm really saying is use it or lose it. I just want you to at least think about that and make the conscious decision. If you decide I'm done jumping, I got other shit to do, this is not important to me anymore, that is okay. It's your life and I trust your decision. But if you never thought about it and you've just accidentally not been jumping, just think about this. It only gets harder. The longer you leave it, the worse it gets. And I know that sounds actually pretty grim, but I think that it's actually surprisingly motivating because that means that there is no better time than right now, the present moment, today, to start your journey towards doing these things again. I would love if you guys left a comment down below with the last time you jumped. If it's recent, Awesome, happy for you. But if it's been a while, I just want to congratulate you on taking the first step towards getting back to jumping. And that is just thinking about it. Just acknowledging that it's been a while and then just admitting it. That's awesome. That's the first thing you got to do. So thank you for watching. I look forward to reading your comments.